Welcome to Revit Content and the all-in-one bifold and sliding door family. This video tutorial is the second part of introducing this all-in-one bifold and sliding door family and it will give you a detailed overview of the amazing features of the sliding door functionality. As I will mainly concentrate on the sliding door, I recommend you to watch also the first part of this video tutorial where I introduce the bifold door functionality together with the adjustments for wall opening, rough distance, render offset, the frame, the panel as well as the panel count. I want to start with the same example which we have used in our first part of this tutorial with the bifold door. And as a first step we will change from a bifold door to a sliding door. As you can see here we have a sliding door count which is the count of panels for the sliding doors that separate from the bifold door panels. And we have a bifold doors tick box which I deactivate to switch from the bifold door to the sliding door. We have now a sliding door with three panels on each side. We want to change now the position, which is uh, the same procedure for the uh, bifold door. So we have frame position, it's an uh, um, instance parameter. I change this to minus 100, which goes then uh, towards the interior. And I change it to plus 100, which goes towards the exterior. So you're completely free in the positioning of the frame and the, the door in general. You can see now here in the in the 3D view the panels, the sliding door panels, and you can see on the, on the top we have a gap, and there is normally a guide, a top guide, uh, which has the operator inside, for example, and we have the guide top uh, visibility, which I switch now on. So it's in this case uh, it's it's a flat guide rail which automatically takes the width or the depth of all three panels, so it's uh, flush on the front of the panels. And we want to adjust this now. We have the sliding door frame offset, which is the, the offset from the front, so this is uh, here the, the depth of this guide rail, and we have the guide top height, which will change the height, so I change the depth to an offset of 150 and the height to 200. And uh, here we have the radius bottom and the radius top. I set it to 50 and 100. You will see now that we get the kind of operator guide rail. This can also be adjusted in, in width, so it's now automatically taking the width of the panels when they're open but you, you have an offset uh, which makes it longer. The next one, that what I want to show you, is to switch from a double sliding door to a single side sliding door. It's easy, it's just one tick box, a double sliding doors in the type parameters and you can see that everything adjusts fully automatically, so the top rail and uh, at the end you get an additional profile and you can see here we have a gap because I have a, I have a radius on the bottom of the guide rail, so I'll set this to zero. Apply this. So now it's, now it's flash. So you see how simple it is to change from a bifold door to a sliding door and uh, bet even between sliding doors, uh, double-sided, single-sided. So back to the plan view, I'll just uh, close the door panels, the same what we use for the bifold doors, so it's opening 0%. So you can see now that the panels are not overlapping each other, so they are, there is basically a gap. You can adjust this with two parameters. There is uh, the sliding door side offset, which is the end here, and the sliding door panel overlap, which is the overlap between the panels. I changed this to my width of the, of the frame, 
so that they overlap exactly the the frame width. So and you can see now that they overlap exactly this value. We have here the the offset which we have done before for the guide rail. So this is uh, the same value applies to this end profile. So when we change this now back, we have a radius zero. And I want to show you now uh, the patio door. It's again just one click with this uh, tick box here. And uh, the guide top visibility, you don't need to switch off this for the patio door. It happens automatically in the background. So you will not see this guide rail when you switch to a patio door. So we just uh, change this value, which is this end profile. I change it to 10. You will see now the result. And just with one click, we get a patio door, which has uh, a fixed panel and two sliding elements. You can see this even in the symbol lines here. And the last one, which I want to show you, is the symbol line functionality. From this version, you will see the symbol lines everywhere in the in the 3D view, elevation, plan view. And you can change this view related here in the graphics override. So you just need to switch off the uh, symbol lines ele elevation. And you don't see these symbol lines anymore. So this was an overview of the sliding door functionality of this uh, amazing all-in-one uh, bifold and sliding door family. As you could see during this tutorial, it is very simple to adjust this all-in-one bifold and sliding door family to the exact sliding door you might require for your project. I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial and I hope that this or other families of our all-in-one series will add real value to you and your Revit project. If you would like to learn more about this or other families of our all-in-one Revit family series, just visit us online at www.revit-content.com.